Hi there, weekday wanderers. Welcome to Paris. We are in the 16th arrondissement today, back in my favourite place, which is Trocadero. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day today. Uh, lots and lots of sun, lots of heat, but we have a forecast for thunderstorms today, I just read. Uh, at the moment, it's absolutely beautiful. So where we are today, I've got two videos running today. The first one starting here in the uh, cemetery of Parsi, which is obviously at Trocadero. Let's have a look at it. Okay. So over here, of course, we have the Tour Eiffel and the edge of the Palais de Chaillot. Actually, that's the entrance to the Musée de l'Homme which is our second location today in an hour's time so i will come back with a, another live video in an hour's time so at 11:30 paris time from inside this building here so that's where i'll be heading to after i've been here so in the meantime here we are at passe cemetery which is in the 16th arrondissement it is one of the four main cemeteries in paris okay the biggest one is Père Lachaise. The second biggest is Montparnasse, which we've already been to. Uh, we also have the Mont Rouge one, which is obviously in Mont Rouge. And uh, we have this Passy one. So all of them were uh, uh, established in the 1800s as a way of moving all the cemeteries into larger areas outside of the city walls so this was technically outside the city when it was established there was another smaller cemetery here prior well not right here but nearby and uh, this was um, the other one was shut down and this one was opened up so because uh, the 16th one this small is a very flash neighborhood uh, a lot of the occupants at the cemetery are also very flash people and likewise their tombs are quite flash as well but they do have a lovely view the Eiffel Tower right here Jen hello sweetheart how are you even the cemeteries are pretty everything's pretty but the cemeteries are incredibly pretty yes they are so uh, there's not a huge number of people that I personally know not personally of course because you know I don't know any of these personally but one that I specifically wanted to come to was this one here. This is Natalie Clifford Barney. She was an American writer and a salon person. Uh, she was quite famous, so she lived 1876 to 1972. Now, Christine Williamson, she's one of our members. Uh, she was discussing how she wanted to come do a bit of a pilgrimage for Natalie Clifford Barney. Uh, so, well, this is, I guess, one aspect of that pilgrimage. So there we are, she has a, her, her tomb, has a nice backdrop there, Eiffel Tower and Palais de Chaillot, Musée de l'Homme. Right, where else are we going to go? Okay, who else do we have in the cemetery? Uh, we have Claude Debussy, or Faure, who are both uh, uh, composers. I just realised that there's actually a a funeral going on so I need to be very careful I didn't realize that okay. so yeah they have absolutely gorgeous tombs all around now a lot of these um, uh, this is not a, um, a large cemetery, it is very, very uh, small, nowhere near as big as the other ones. It's very easy to get around, but it is very dense. So, even looking for graves uh, in this small area is really tricky sometimes. So, who have I found this morning? I found Edward Manet. So here's the other painter, which uh, uh, a lot of people confuse with Monet. Manet, Monet, not the same person. Just find this interesting. And there's also somebody over at the Monet grave. Okay. Again, 
one shot of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so I'm only going to do a very, very short video this uh, now. This town I find really creepy. When I first saw it, I thought it belonged to a child, but in fact, there um, is no child buried here. So I thought that was quite interesting. So we can see here, we can see the wall just up here. In fact, I think we might go for a little walk down here just because the area I want to go to is busy at the moment. Give you a chance to see some of the other tombs. So I saw G Giverny, oh not Giverny, um, uh, Givenchy, get it right. I was watching an um, documentary about Audrey Hepburn last night and they talked a little while they talked with uh, Hubert de Givenchy who was the, uh, the designer in charge of the Givenchy fashion house and he died in uh, 2018 I believe and he's buried uh, just behind me here so um, back there by Manet's grave is the centre of the cemetery so we are now right at the very edge so this is the Place de Trocadero so it's the roundabout over by Trocadero and that's the, you can't see it here because of all the trees but that's where I did a video from to show you that beautiful scene of the Eiffel Tower with the Trompe, uh, Trompe d'oeil so as you can tell it's, it's a very small cemetery so you can, in theory, get around it really easily and quickly. Okay. Right. So I don't tend to be here very long at all. I'm going to finish this video very soon. Like I said, I'm going over to the Musée de l'Homme, which will be starting at 11.30. So in uh, 23 minutes, so uh, sorry, no, 53 minutes from now. Who else is here? Oh, that's right. So we had uh, Givenchy and Gulen and Manet uh, and who else? Okay. So there's Edward Manet, painter, who lived from 1832 to 1883. Yeah. The real estate around here is absolutely stunning. Okay, and one last tomb that I'm going to show you very quickly is uh, very special because it is uh, the largest one. Just wondering how we can do this because uh, it's very close to the funeral that's going on now. We have to be very careful. This is beautiful here. Bonjour. Okay, here we go. This one here, as you can tell, it is absolutely immense. It is the largest edifice in the cemetery here. It's actually considered a national monument, so it's protected. It is um, enormous. Look at this engraving here. Okay, so this tome belongs to, oh, let me see if I can pronounce her name, a young Russian girl. She was 25 when she died. Enormous. So it's um, a new name. I don't want to get it wrong. It's huge anyway, isn't it? Here we go. Marie B. 
slash cutesif. Hi Sally Davies, thank you for joining me. It's a very short video, I'm about to finish up. Okay, I just wanted to show you this. She was 25 when she died, she's Ukrainian. Uh, and then her family moved uh, all over the place and eventually settled in Paris. In her very, very short life, um, she obviously made a huge impact. Um, she, um, she was a painter, she did some beautiful stuff, but um, most importantly she was a diarist. She wrote a diary which she started when she was 13 and continued for her life and she knew she was going to be famous so she asked that when she died that her diary be published, which it was, and it was the first, uh, only the second in the 1800s, the second time a, a woman's diary had been published and it was a very specific style. Um, which has um, kind of led the way for diary writers in, uh, into the present time. So she was quite pioneering at the time. Um, yeah, and I first came across her diary when I was 11 years old myself. So anyway, it was very interesting. So yeah, that's all I want to show you here at the moment for the Cemetery de Passy. Um, so I'm going to go head over to the Musée de Long now. I will see you very soon uh, at 11.30 Paris time. So in the meantime, take care. I hope you can join me again. And we're just heading for the exit because it's super, super close. Beautiful tombs, huh? So if you want to find it, uh, to come here, Metro Trocadero, location Trocadero, and you just go up the road next to the Musée de Lomme, and it's just up a tiny side road. There it is here. Hey, voila. Uh, Cemetery the Passé. Okay, thanks for joining me and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.